This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hey, bitch. What is your whole deal? Hey, bitch. Just tell us how you feel. You wished for a sign from above. Well, here's a podcast about boy sex, fucking, dating, and love. Seek treatment. If you're boring as fuck, seek treatment. If you're unlucky in love, seek treatment. If you just can't take a hint, well, seek treatment. Ha. With Kat and Pat. Hey. hey! It's Kitty Cat Cappuccino. It's Pat Cappuccino. And we're here in the HeadGum <clears throat> studio at our new home within a hell. And we're so happy to be here <laughs> with our amazing guest. You just saw her on Netflix do, on the stand-up side of things. Absolutely going <laughs> off. Put your ears open, open for, for the Robbie. amazing Robbie Hoffman. We, we, never, are we? we, we did never say this is Seek Treatment, a podcast about boys, oh, sex, fucking, this dating, is, and If love. you missed it, this is Seek Treatment, a podcast about boys, sex, fucking, dating, and love. We're in the pocket with Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> Yet we can't talk about your situation. No. Even though that's what the podcast is about. Yeah. And keep okay. this in. But keep so, that in. Keep that in. Okay, but you're allowed to, we talk we about t- your stuff? We can go So anywhere. you're exploited. What does that mean? We talk about your stuff, but he's off. Lemon. Yeah, well, this is no, a new thing. Well, it's different. This no. is okay. different times. Okay. okay. This is a new thing. Okay. Yeah. How oh. the hell are you? I mean, pretty good. I know. Yeah. What's not to love? <laughs> you're your life love. is amazing. Yeah, I'm you're in You're checking all the boxes right now. How Work is good. Love is yes. good. Work You're, could always be better. Work could always well, be better. Of course. Well, you know what? I'm mean, insati- Yeah, yeah. We're never going to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. We're what stars. Are you, what, are you do- what are you doing right now? I got a lot of projects going. Yeah. You know, my, our, we're doing our podcast. I'm curious to talk to you. You about the deal that you worked out with HeadGum. Yeah, you mentioned, see, it, what I'm you doing mentioned it a couple of times. See, see, Robbie see, is fully in a meeting right now. Oh, we're like, oh, sorry, we didn't mean to be here. I want to compare, you know, because it's good to know what people make people. We, we yes. need to be more open with this stuff. Yes, we do. Need to be more open if you guys were brave enough, brave enough, you would you would say all the details of your head gum deal right here. Uh, Robbie, on you, Robbie, 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 we are cowards. If, if, you th- oh, yeah. if you think I know what the details yeah. of the deal are, you're so crazy. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um, how long a, have you been in love now? Long time now. How long now? Uh, like <laughs> ten months. Wow, that is a long time to be in love. Yeah, I'm. I, How, you know what? And, and it's, it's like the kind of thing. It's like anything can happen either way. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, but I'm just leaning into me. I used to be like, I don't know, like as gay as it is, like posting and this type of thing. It's like she posts. Yeah, so I'm posting totally. So good. I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm a, what's the big deal? Like, yeah. What is okay, the big so deal? I'm in love. Either way, I'm not embarrassed. I fell in love. I'm very much in love, and I and I. It's a great feeling. Do you think there's something to be said for like? How does a long? How do you stay in love for a long time? Don't you think a, does it like a honeymoon phase end, and then what do you do? I don't know because it hasn't ended. Yeah. Um, but I can love for a very long time. What's your longest before this? In a romantic setting, I would say yeah. five years. But wow. What That's I very do hearty. think. Yeah. What What I do think is I've had loving relationships for a really long time. What does that mean? If I look at my sisters, I've known them for thirty years. Well, yeah. No, but I'm saying some people. <laughs> no, some people gets better no. and better and better. No, but some, it does get better. I've known my brothers, known my brothers yeah. for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. But then you you carry then you go outwards. Yeah. Then you go friends. I've had friends thirty years now where I've seen yeah. them. So I'm just like. I've had long love. Romantic love is a different thing, but I think it doesn't have to be 100% different. It, it's still, it's still, you're on a long, like you want them in your life forever. Mm. Mm. I definitely feel that with Bri. Yeah. When I met him, I was like, almost your family to me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah, but... He's just so solid. The most amazing thing about romantic love is I grew up hating my brothers. I have five brothers and they're all demented. Love that. And I would come oh, I have, home. I'm gonna have sex too. Yeah, I would. I think I knew that about you. Yeah, I didn't know that. How about many you. girls have boy? How Four many boys and two girls. And what number are you? Two. Okay. What number are you? Seventh. I thought you were six. No, I'm. Se- I have you're, also four sisters. sisters. Wild. What? Wait, so you're one of ten? I'm one of ten. Yeah. I did not know that at all. I thought I knew it's that kind, about it's kind you. Of whole thing. Where did you grow up? It's uh, major. I was. Uh, I'm originally from Crown Heights, from Brooklyn. Uh-huh. I grew up like I was born an Orthodox Jew, so yeah. no, no protection. I'm assuming your parents Catholic or something. Yes, don't ever okay. assume about yeah. me. And look at me, half uh, Jew, half Catholic. Yeah, there we go. You. My parents were Orthodox. My friends. Yeah. So and you know my um, mom. My mom one of six. Oh yeah. What number is she? She's one. Okay. Oh, anyway, anyway. So that. yeah. So you're born. You're Crown Heights. You're so many people. But what were we talking about before? Oh my God, that? our questions. What? Oh, I'm... we were talking about love, romantic oh, love, or sibling love. Yeah. Right, wait, wait. Love, love. Hold on. 
hold on. I had the thought. I don't want to lose it. And it will be worth it. When you're in love. Long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I hated my brothers. They're Mm. deranged, demented. I would come home and I would, you know, I always like, I would see them sitting on the couch. I'm like, mother. (laughs) <laughs> they're not going to make it. Yeah. Like, this is not, you know, and I would have to help my brother. She'd be like, did you help your brother with, you know, his home? I have helped my brothers with geography. And I'd be like, I told you to color in the provinces. I'm like, ma, he did one color, all of them. Uh, <laughs> like, it's not going to happen for yeah. him. <laughs> it's over and now. And did it ever happen for them? No. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and my mother would say, you know, your brothers, you don't choose your family. You don't choose your family. And then the hack is, Pun intended for Thank one of the writers you. on Hacks here. Congratulations. <laughs> the, the, the hack here is just you get to pick your family when you, with a, you get one pick. Some people, two, three, yeah. mm-hmm. Mario. But you really get one pick mm-hmm. that you're going to make. No, no, no. I actually chose this family and not in a gay chosen family yeah, stupid I hate way. That. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In a real well, commitment, so what, so you're putting your money you where your mouth like, is. You're like, but you don't, you're creating you're, but a family. You, but you, yeah. But, like, what if do you, you get mean? married? Oh, if you get married. If you get yeah. married, if you have a kid, it's like you're the family. Wait, just what you said. Did I ever tell this story on the pod? It's like not even my story to tell, but it's so funny to me. Like, oh, oh, one of the hacks writers, Sam Riley, um, was seeing a bunch of extended family she hadn't seen in a long time. And she saw this aunt and the aunt came up to her and said, oh, my God, I love this, your show so much. Is the lady who plays hack nice? <laughs> no, no way. That can't be true. Yeah, isn't that so funny? That's so funny. Um. Okay. She Wait. Nice. Are you still friends with the person who's you who you were in? Are you friends with your exes? Some of them. Yeah. I went to an ex's wedding, um, just last summer. What? Did you break up on good terms or bad terms? Yeah, good terms. Fine. Like not good terms. Right. Like breaking up is hard, but if you can be reasonable about it. Hard to be reasonable. Yeah, no, us. you have to try and be reasonable and You're talk talking to it. unreasonable people. Did no, you... I know, I know. <laughs> Did you take a break and then become friends? Yeah, I think naturally, yeah. not like a disgust yeah. break. No, do just... you want to get married? Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you want kids? I... No. Okay. No kids. We, we are taking a page from gay men, double income, no kids. Yeah, that's what I want so bad. Yeah, it seems nice. No, I'm not doing kids. First of all, I'm not, I'm not doing, doing this either. again. So yeah, right, you know, right. Yeah, the buck ends here with this. We're it's not intense. The, the 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 bloodline ends here yeah. right now. There's no reason to continue this nightmare. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, being me isn't for everyone. I think yeah. it's a really hard one to get. <laughs> yeah. I got it. I'm doing fine with it. Yeah. But Better I wouldn't do it to somebody else. Yeah. yeah no, it's that's a very how... bizarre thing to end up. I feel the same way, except that. I think being me isn't for everyone, and I'm not sure it's for me. No, exactly. I'm barely. I'm at my limit. I'm at my limit with seem, me. You seem like you are oh, that you're like have gotten around, um, have come around on being you. You know what? You just I I I've gotten good at it through uh through practice. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not but practicing it's enough. still it's not ideal. Yeah, but it's kind of we're dealing with it. Yeah, that's how I feel. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. You were just on the precipice of a big epiphany. Yeah. You guys don't like being yourselves. No, I do. No, I she do. She likes it. I, I was <laughs> I'm, right. I'm adept at it. What I love about you is you're a lover of life. Thank even. you. You're not afraid to call out shit, to be mean. Like, no, first of all, I'm not. Okay, we'll talk about your boyfriend. I wasn't mean. Uh huh. I had react. Here's the thing we were recording a podcast with her boyfriend. He's lovely. He's amazing. We were talking about excellent topics. I was on a roll. Totally. When I'm on, I'm on. Yeah. You, we've yeah. all seen it. 100%. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not here to exaggerate. Okay. I was great. Yeah. Suddenly it co- turns out we we haven't been recording. There's no yeah. backup. There's nothing. I go, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer on. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I must leave. <laughs> Guys, I can't redo it. I'm like, we'll just talk. We'll just do it again. I'm like, I can't just do it again. I know I'm not it, a light switch. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. I, I wouldn't be able to express it in that way, but I do know that feeling is so frustrating. So it's just like, so and, did then, you not go and back? then I also didn't like the bathroom. Oh, so it was in person. There was no, no, there was no toilet paper or something. Oh, that okay. was my house. <laughs> yeah, there was no toilet paper. There was no toilet paper. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> that doesn't seem like me because I'm always using a lot. Maybe I ran out. I use a lot. Well, maybe... And you would think he has a guest coming over. You would think. I know if it was your podcast in your house, you which it was, you would have the toilet paper. You know me. So I have a question. Did you then not record? I don't know what happened. Boys struggle. Yeah. Yeah. And they were very sensitive because men have gotten sensitive. Not and more than ever, yeah. I'll arrive at liking myself until 
all of a sudden something will happen where I'm like, or liking being myself. And then I'm like, oh shoot, you know, I think I didn't get that thing. And I think if I had been someone else, I would have. And then all of a sudden it feels like I wish I wasn't myself. But I get so many things because I am myself. Mm hmm. Not, yeah, you know, right I don't thing. know. I don't look at it like things. I just wish behaviors like for me, it's just like I wish I was like if, if I was criticizing myself, I'm like, eh, it would suck to be it would be great to be less annoying. Just as yeah. the Jewish people in general, I, I think we could, <laughs> you know, but it's like, why do I contribute to that annoyingness? You know, but at the annoying. same time, but I can be annoying. Who are you? And why are you annoying? I chat. I'm very chatty. But I think that's. that's, such, a, that's, that's I think hurt. you're so charming. I understand, but you don't want to be chatty all the time. So I'm. 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 I'm refining who I am. I like when okay. someone's chatty. I'm constantly cause... refining and enjoying the things that are great about me. Mm -hmm. Leaning into when I'm chatty, but also maybe I could have quiet moments, and those are fun too. Do you care if other people like you? Probably. Yeah. Does but it make I don't you... know how much. Yeah, probably. But you know what? I haven't felt unliked. And yeah. I could be wrong on that. Maybe everybody. I feel like people like me. Yeah, I feel like so people like me. So I just like haven't. Me. I haven't had like to question or to think about that as much. Oh God, right. that's all I think about. Well, there's so many. You different... Really? <clears throat> Do you it... think people people love you? You think sometimes they're it's it's either they're obsessed or they want me dead. Oh really? I'm I think... sure that's not how it actually is. No, everybody loves you. That's nice, but people you're both really love. Sometimes I feel like though <laughs> you could be liked and. Or I feel so loved in so many ways, but never just the one way I would like to. With a boy. Romantic. Romantically. But, but boys have yeah. loved you romantically. Yes, that's true. Yeah. You were in a long-term relationship. I know. <laughs> I can't tell what I want. Well, or, you're still really young it. for a gay man. I'm 35, but I'm a yeah, bottom. But like, you know, <laughs> Andy Cohen, how old was he when he got married? But he's a top. He's not married. Is he a top? Yeah. I don't think so. He loves, <laughs> I think that he is. Really? Hmm. But who knows? It's very surprising. You know what? They're... Why? Because he's short. When did you first fall in love? Yeah. Um, when did I first fall? Uh, uh, 17. Wow. What was yeah. it like? It was amazing. Oh. Uh, who was it? I can't say her name because oh, I've once said I mean, like, her name survive. before. Um, her, her last name. I wish I could. Okay, so bleep her name because I have to say her name. Her name was... Oh, she's an I, Italian girl. Wow. Unbelievable. 17 she had like you're a in little, high school? She had like, no, because in Montreal, I was living in Montreal by this point. You graduate um, at 16, 17. So I was in college, Dawson yeah. College. And when did you leave the community? When I was a kid. But okay, I was okay. religious. I was, you know, still religious yeah. for a long time. I was kosher till 19. Okay, okay. But was Italian. At this college, it was kind of divvied like segregation. That was the Jews on one floor. Um, it was called the Jew calf. There was the Italians and there was like, there was, everybody was divvied and by their kind of race a, a or Juliet ethnicity. And Juliet. No. So I met her in this class. Anyway, she was very strange. She would graffiti and she smoked she weed. And yeah. An like, she, yeah. <laughs> she Banksy. Yeah. She the Banksy was like, jumped and out. I was like a student. I was good at school, liked school. Oh, I hated school. I was, I was all about it. Me too. So. <laughs> you went to Princeton. Yeah. That's unreal. <laughs> that is unreal. It was That's great. a movie. It was a movie. Going to Princeton is a movie. It was fabulous. And then you get back to get to the real world and you're like. <laughs> but like you were when you were at Princeton, you're like, I go to Princeton. Yeah. I was kind of like, I can't believe I get to go here. Like, I appreciate it every second. It's unreal. It's bizarre. It's it's amazing. But anyways, you're there. You're being it's funny. Like, it's like when somebody goes to Harvard and like. They'd be like, you know, you're like, where did you go to school? And I'm like, yeah, in Boston. Yeah. yeah. Like you're it's like hard. This, or they know, say it's like, like it's hard. You know, people don't yeah, enjoy yeah. going to Harvard. People don't have fun there. People really like Princeton yeah. and Yale, but people don't like Harvard. I really wanted to go to Yale. A Harvard guy won NCAA cross country this year. That's awesome. <laughs> I so what happened with you and <laughs> No, so she, it was just one of those tumultuous, we were 17, like literally she'd be crying in the rain outside my oh. apartment. Like, I'm like. You're literally crying in the rain. Like, it's too dramatic. Yeah. It's just too much for my little, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, it was the first time, you know, I was gay for the first time. I didn't know I was gay until I fell in love with her. Really? I, we were that's secret you, for six you... months. I was outed brutally. Oh, I had that whom? like scene, like walk to remember, you know, when she like walks into the, 
dining room and her pictures were everywhere or something. Was it Walk to Remember? I struggle with that movie. I never saw that movie. Okay, well, it's like one of the things where it's like everybody is looking at you. Yeah. I was outed so <gasps> brutally. Because I kind of, even though I wasn't Hasidic, I was still a conservative Jew. Yeah. So I think people like, obviously being Jewish, like you can understand the nuance of that, but most people don't. It's like, I would equate it to like being a very like conservative, yeah. you know, just like really traditional One time values. someone told me that like, in the Jewish religion, there's nothing against being gay and like there's lots of lesbian rabbis. There are, but in in a different, in in a less orthodox in reform, sense. In reform. Yeah, in reform. Yeah. I don't consider those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I had a romance <laughs> with an orthodox Jewish. That checks out. It was. Uh, so I could see you with 10 good. kids. I, <laughs> it was so close. I was like, it was not. They had nine. We had nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the kind of thing where it was like, it was like a torrid affair, and he was like, you know, I'm gonna like leave you for a serious, serious Jewish. Oh, girl. you were a shiksa, kind of. You were a half shiksa. Yeah. I, in his world, I was shiksa. Yeah. Even though I'm not, but he was like, and I kind of knew it would happen, and yeah, now he's you know. I bet if kids. you got your 23 and me, like you would be 99 percent Jewish. I am. Like sometimes, yeah, yeah. Like, because it's your father who's Jewish and your mother isn't. Mm -hmm. But then I, I worry. Now we could know the split. Like, you might be more one of your parents. Ye oh, interesting. You know what I mean? It's like, I bet I'm more my mom because I'm gay. <laughs> there we go. I guess gay is girl. Because gay is girl. I feel like some, like that has to work to some extent. Yeah. Wait, so I how did you get outed? Yeah. Oh my God. So I was making out. We were at a bar. We were at uh, Mad Hatter's in Montreal. Shout out if Mad Hatter's is still open. Um, but we all like split in for a picture or something stupid. And then I would never touch her or like talk to her in public. I was like, you don't look at me. She was like, you know, why can't our friends like, I'm like, my friends aren't going to suddenly want to know why this dyke is around. Like, yeah, was she out and like proud? Yeah, she was like she's, looking like a she's dyke. Graffiti, she wore I'm layers. Gay. She's graffiti. I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. Yeah. yeah, like I had like a giant purple guest watch. Like I was like very like trying to look rich, yeah. trying to fit in. I would love Still, to see you closeted. Yeah. So I was just like, please, like they're not, we're not accepting new applicants. Like my friend group was really tight knit and whatever. So we would meet in the bathroom. So we met in the bathroom and we were making out in a stall and the stall like opened <gasps> and we kind of both like splayed out. Oh my God. Like we're pushed out or yeah. like the door open. Symbolic. And, and this girl, who you can, you can bleep if you want. <laughs> this bitch I went if to school with, by the she to saw. Bleep. And it's like literally the next day, I want to say the next day or two. I was walking through the school. We had a massive cafeteria. It's going it's like, viral. Everyone's getting like No, but it literally was. Yeah. It was like we had like oh phones God. like T9ing, Blackberries. Wow. Like it was like, well, not Blackberries I yet, know. but people said but the Razor had come out. Oh. So it was like a big thing. Motorola. Don't talk to me about the Motorola. Razor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it was spreading yeah. a lot. And we were like online a lot just generally and. What was your and, screen name? Uh, and it was, I was strawberry oh, something. Because nice. I had strawberry hair. I know, at the but that is such a straight hair. girl's screen name. Yeah, but I've had it like, that was like since eighth grade. So Yeah, well, you were straight Love. in eighth grade. Yeah. Mine was just Pat 31. So how, did you, how did you cope? With the I outing? literally Parenters. could have died. <laughs> oh. I, I literally. And you had to go to school the next day. I Yeah, I, my whole, I was already living on my own. I was so poor, like beyond poor. Like I want to take my girlfriend for dinner for her birthday to this Thai place and I didn't have my debit card. I was like, oh, I'm sure it works. And I went across the street and it's like insufficient funds. Oh. Like I literally was just, I had nothing and I just was like now losing my social group, which was like the my whole world at the time. So people were like, we can't be friends with you because you're gay. Yeah, my best friend, shout out to Shani, we've uh, since made up, but she oh, was good, like, good, good. we can't uh, be friends anymore. And I slept at oh. her house like 24-7. That is so traumatic. Yeah, I lost my friends like this. I had two friends, um, my friend Allie, who I still wear the bracelet she got me, um, who she, and she was like this really rich, seemingly spoiled girl who reached out to me. She's like, I don't care what I'm hearing. I love you. <gasps> da, da, da. Like really amazing Allie. You'll never yeah, forget she, that. I was so poor and she was so rich and she got $5 every day when we were in high school for lunch, which was like $3 at school. And she would always give me two fifty. Just under enough for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, would, we wouldn't buy, like, yeah, we wouldn't buy the hot lunch. We would buy, like, two cookies and an ice cream. Yeah. Okay, she's yeah. a real one. Shout out to Ali. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Ali Quint, who literally would What's split. What's she up to now? She has two kids. She's rich still, amazing, Good. does amazing. whatever the fuck rich she wants. Rich stays rich. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, 
she and then uh, my friend Malay, who was like dog. And Malay seemed dikey. Yeah. Well, well just, by, just by her saying dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> She's like, dog, I love you. So there were two people, but yeah. everybody else. In Israel, I did the birthright trip uh-huh. that summer. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like getting better. And I'd already paid my deposit, which it's a free trip, but you have to give $200 or something for something. So I was like, that to me was everything. <laughs> like, so I was like, and I was on this Israel trip having a time and people, most people had gotten over it. It's like a year after. And then, uh, but then it came up again where this girl, she in a front of a huge group said she didn't um, uh, approve of my lifestyle. And uh, it was like wild. It was like the second to last day of the Israel Holy trip. shit. So after that happened, were you like, okay, yeah, like Well, her I brother was a flaming homosexual and now he's okay. out. And I actually think about how horrible it must have been for him growing up in that house because that they were so like actually homophobic in a way you don't even hear. Like I yeah. never believe people are like, I'm like, come on, you went. Yeah, if you're like, I experienced homophobia. I'm like, I never experienced homophobia. Yeah. I live so, like I bear. I, I really just don't. I think but then I did. Stories like that. <laughs> what? I did. I think I did. Yeah, no, but back that. So that it makes me think like, no, that was like growing up and shit oh. like that. And That's his sister brutal. was so anti. And his bar mitzvah theme was Cats, the musical. Uh-huh. So it's like. Yeah. Lesbian dog. Yeah. Gay guy. Cats the musical bar mitzvah. Literally. Well, of course. Yeah. Cats are girls, dogs are boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and girls, girls are gay. Girls like wine, boys like beer. And, and girls are gay and... And boys are... And lesbian. I think yeah. it could have been... Yeah. I think it could have been wicked. It's one of those like boring... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one question we ask on the pod is, we're kind of already diving <clears> in, but it's who were you, who are you, and who do you want to be? Oh, wow. Really deep. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to make me yawn because it's contagious. Well, yawning is contagious and actually has nothing to do if you're tired. What jacket are you wearing? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so you know how every like nice store you go into has one bomber. Well, it's yes. kind of immense, and it, you look unbelievable in it, and it's like nine hundred dollars, and you're like, okay, well, nice to meet you, bomber. I like have lately ad- um had an addiction to APC on Sunset. Yeah, that's a very expensive place. It's a very expensive place. I was gonna guess APC. You have or like acne. there is like six. They go in. There's like six things hanging up. Two of them are prohibitively expensive. One of them would no human being could wear. One of them is a T-shirt that for no reason is three hundred dollars, and one of them is like a polo that you're like whatever I'll get. And so that's been my experience at APC. I can't stop going in because there's this shop girl there that a shop, there's a shop. This is what I could only be described as a shop, shop girl. girl. <laughs> and she feels like she doesn't experience joy a ton, like no. from her demeanor, not because of working at APC, just brain chemistry. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> when I was shopping there, she was helpful to me. And then when I was checking out, she was um, pulling up my, she was like, what's your email? And I started saying it and it, po- it populated on the iPad. And she said, it, and she nice. said, thank you. Yeah. you and she pointed now. to it and she said, is this you? And I go, it's me in a nutshell. She laughs her ass off for like, <laughs> she laughs her ass off for 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> I feel high. Like you can believe, like I brought so much Killing. joy to this girl. Like there's Killing. nothing like making a counter girly laugh. So now I, I so between her and just like thinking I'm going to find something there that will change everything. Like I can't stop going to ABC. Then I go there in September. I see this bomber and I'm like, I need it. It's like eight hundred dollars. I'm like, I can't. It's eight. So you, will you stand up and just give? So it- that yes, and it doesn't. It's not worth eight hundred, but it was. Can I feel it? Yeah, and then, I then I go in on 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 Black Friday and it's forty percent off. So it's still very expensive. That's a win. But That's it's a like steal. really like. Three hundred and fifty dollars off. So I got it, and now I wear. Well, you know, my thing is jackets and boots. You have but to spend like, money. Why is it so expensive? But you can say that button. Turn around. It looks great on you. I just wish you were wearing pants. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think it's a little too long. I know. This is an, this is an extra small. But see, I love the fit of it. And I, I wish it cut off where that Me where too. That thing, yeah. Me too. But so like, I, so if, because it's that one imperfection. You wouldn't have gotten it. I wouldn't have gotten it. At that price, if something is perfect. And it, it, it always the most basic thing you're looking for is the hardest to find. You're like, surely yeah. they'll have a black bomber anywhere. I just when you think feel... you're going. But then suddenly you're looking for it. Nobody's got it. Mm-hmm. I know. Where do you like to shop? I do a lot of vintage. Mm-hmm. I yeah. do like um, consignment and stuff. Like this is grailed because yeah. I What's can. What's that mean? This, this grailed is just an online app. A oh, reseller. Okay. Um, But yeah, I, I buy a lot of vintage. 
yeah, that's where I shop, I guess. I can't do vintage because I need to go to a place like APC where I'm like, I know that it's nice because it's expensive. And then I don't have the discernment to go into a vintage store and be like, these are actually good. But, but see, I don't think cheap. things are nice because they're expensive. You so think? I think that's a taste thing. See, I think that's where gay men are losing their way now. Yeah, <laughs> well, that, I, but I've never no, had my way no, as a I fashion person. No, because I think person. even some of the poorest people, when you think about streetwear and how it came up, yeah. how did such poor people have great sense of style? Because I know, but I'm saying I don't have people. great. I do not no. have great sense of style. No, you don't. I need a curated. <laughs> I know. I need a curated you experience. Good. But there but are curated consignment and vintage stores. What if I could give you a couple shops that have a few things in them. They are expensive, so you'll think they're nice. Yeah. But they're actually quite stylish, and you can... They give you a but little more expensive. opinion. They give you a little more to say, is this me? Yes. Is this but me? But I don't know what's me. And secondly, right. I'm just coming out of a phase where I feel like I was trying too hard with clothes, and yeah. I'm like, that's never been me. No. And I've lost my way. When was that? Yeah. Like, I just keep oh, buying... <laughs> I just keep buying really expensive shirts. And yeah, I'm like, what is this about? No. And I'm like, I'd love to go shopping with you because you're gorgeous. Thank you. I know You've you got a amazing. great figure. Thank you. And I, and, no, but, and I really think that things will speak to you. I know. If you give, if, if and it won't be overwhelming, you know, it, it, there's a way to do it where you, because this bomber is so you and it looks great on you. And we can do that with everything. I you know. I just like, I think I've lost my way. What do you mean? I've just lost my way. I've lost my sense of self a little bit. Mm. But who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I think you're on yeah, your way the, back the to The thing I love about fashion and clothing just general, not that I'm like this fashion. It's like, it's such a way to express your identity without like surgery yeah. or anything. Like it's actually like a harmless way to to yeah you know ex to be more you but i it's never feel amazing. like i'm expressing myself through fashion i'm never like oh god like but you feel like when you right. dress up like put a suit on you're like okay now i'm giving a different energy like a different vibe i'm always just like i look in the mirror and i'm mm -hmm. like would i have sex with this person and if the answer is yes then i'm like okay fine and if the answer is probably not i'm like well that's not great <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean I do, but I don't look at it like that. I know, but that's how I look at it. I know. Well, so you might have a sex addiction. I definitely don't have a sex addiction. <laughs> no, but you might. You might not think it is. But, but it's it. But it. But it's. But it's because it's not. It's not. It's not manifesting in lots of sex. It's certainly not. Okay. <laughs> but you might. But you thinking in terms of sex only for yourself yeah. might be something to well, look into. Looking not even in terms of mm. sex, but like attraction. I think I do mm. have a fascination of like. Am I attractive and how am I attractive? And if I am attractive, why is it not manifesting in like love or something? Or like, I, I, I'm not sure exactly where I fit in right now in the larger global landscape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think the sad truth is you're taught that when you're young, if you're attractive, you'll find love. Yeah. But that's not true. And so you spend your whole life trying to be attractive. Yeah. But that's actually not what matters. I know. I think I've been trying a little too hard to be attractive. Yeah, I agree. And you, like, you are, you've always been attractive. You don't need to change anything. Well, there were times I wasn't attractive. That's not true, though. I can show you pictures. I disagree. <laughs> I've seen what you're talking about. You're attractive <laughs> to me because attractive is not about. Yeah. No, it's an Ugly energy. is attractive. Ugly is hot as fuck. Yeah. So Look I'm just Adam saying Driver. there's like, it, there's, there's everybody. Ask who? Adam Driver. He's really hot. He's but sex yeah. on a stick. I want to yeah. sit. But he's hot. Yeah, but he's but, but, he's but people think he's not. Oh, I think he's so hot. Let's yeah, see. but there's a lot of because guys he yeah. owns himself. Yeah, we're gonna find you. Right. And we're gonna to find the rest myself, of yourself. You're doing a lot better than well, you're first of all. You, in yeah. life, you're like this. I know. We I know. have to lose ourselves to find ourselves. We have to. Yeah, you know, it's like how do you, you? You need to be checked. Yeah. So when you find yourself again, you're like, oh, I feel totally way more me. I but know. had you not felt like you, you wouldn't have gotten that feeling. I know. So it's all horrible. Where are you in the wave right now? I feel in myself. Yeah, that's I could tell. How'd you get there? Myself. Well, I, I just like no, but I'm you know I just generally I just there's not a pressure to get there or whatever. It's just oh, this is life. This is what's happening today. I feel like you know I'm in you know I'm I'm now in the game. I'm in the video game where I think of life like if you have a PlayStation, which always 
traumatized I never, me. Yeah, I can't I never do video games, but I was forced when I was young. My brother, yeah. I didn't know what was going on, but you click this one. We were you kind know, of an, I, I an clicked Nintendo a family. really weird Crash Bandicoot level. Yeah. And now I'm like level four or five. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we're in the game. Mm -hmm. We know we're, okay, we have yeah. this in our pocket. We have this. I feel like I was like, in the game and then my gaming system like shut down. Yeah. And I need to like turn the gaming system back yeah, on. Yeah, you have to like blow it in the back. And, yeah. yeah we... I think you actually have a really nice gaming system, but it just came unplugged. All you need to do is plug it back in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't realize that it's out a little bit. I know. Like, where it's dangling an outlet. Were you a Nintendo family or a PlayStation family? Nintendo, Goldeneye. Me too. Love. Me too. And you know what I also love? SSX Tricky on Xbox. Oh my god. My favorite. <sighs> Whatever. So stressful video games. I never would have picked this one, like the globe or earth. Like I would have picked, like, I know. you know, the park or like, this one was just like, in Grand Theft Auto, this one looks insane. What like game? if you're like earth, <laughs> like you're going to earth. You're this going to oh, the one that we're in. Yeah, yeah, the one that we're in. It's such a crazy love. It's like it's like picking the weird, like the most intense like setting on Grand Theft Auto. Instead of picking like, oh, we're just gonna drive through like Monaco or like the park. We're like, let's go to Gotham or something. You know what I mean? It's like so intense. Yeah. So what were your what was the question that you asked on the pod? The who poor, are you? Who are you? Who, who are you? Who are you? And who do you want to be? Who were you? Yeah, it doesn't have to be. But we, yeah, we've kind of, we're kind of doing them both already. Who were you? Yeah, but whatever Robbie? that means, whatever that evokes for you. Yeah, some people like it doesn't have to like be little, like. I'm like, who is little like, Robbie? I always had like stuff in my pocket. Like I had yeah. maybe <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I always had stuff in my pocket. Yeah. Which pocket? You sure? Like, no, like let's say let's towards... say it was like uh, the overalls with the pocket here, oh, right? Yeah. So I had so a rock and, and, stickers. And, and, okay. <laughs> In, in the canon of this podcast, overalls make me feel queasy. It, that they're terrible, but I wore. The idea of them. I I I like them as a kid. I mean, I'm I'm six years old. How, yeah, were you playful? Single, were you like physical? Very. I climbed hyper? trees. Very hyper. Mm -hmm. uh, very argumentative. Uh, very anti-system. Were you I friends with your sisters? Yes. You, you did you think they were going to make it? I, I wasn't sure if any of us would make it alive. Yeah. I just was like, I was 10 years old. I looked at my mother. I'm like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. I'm like, I know one thing at 10. I got to get out of here. I yeah. wrote myself a letter. I was told that I could open one. I was like 18 or 30. I don't remember. I opened Two amazing it options. Yeah. <laughs> and it was basically like, you will know at 30 if you're alive or dead. Oh my God. Like you so will intense. know if you made it or not. And I'm yeah. like, I just wanted to get to 30. And then I did get to 30 and it was really nice. Yeah. What do you think was going to happen? It was just, my life was just great. Like I was just like, wow, you made yourself a fucking life, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Like you did this. And I tell my little sister this all the time. It's like, we don't have kids or, you know, so it's like, we have this language about, you know, do you have a dependent? Do you have this? And it's like, we do have dependents. Like, she does have a dependent. Her dependent is herself. She has to make sure she's well-fed. Yeah. She's sheltered. She's fulfilled. She's inspired. And it's it's a thankless job. Like, to make sure you have a good life, like, and you are, you know, like, I always look back at the little me, and I'm, like, trying to take care of her. Like, oh. I'm always looking back at, like, seven-year-old me. I'm like, Rob, <laughs> you got to hang in. I'm doing as much as humanly possible to get us there. Oh, I yeah. promise you they, you know, because little Rob is like impatient. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And I'm like, <laughs> you can't even believe how well I've done for yeah. how limited our tool belt was. Okay. Yeah. I am getting there as quick as we fucking can. I'm trying. I want to make everything happen for you. So I'm still like kind of a lot the same. Um, but it became okay to be me. Like, I actually didn't know what it would be like to grow up and then be me. But now yeah. it's like, there's like famous people-ish like me. It's like, I don't, also don't believe so much that I have to be seen in other ways. It just, I ended up being, it was fine to be me. It wasn't like the, you know, it wasn't like the randomest. It, like over the years, <laughs> it's gotten less and less random to yeah. be somebody like me. Um, but I'm also not somebody who needs to be understood. I think we have a society I where know. it's like, you have to understand it. It's like, don't understand me. It's fine. I, I understand know. me. I'm good. Just I don't hate me. Like, I don't understand this whole thing. More education and understand. We don't need to understand everything. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to understand everything. Yeah. It's impossible. I won't know what it's like to be a black person in America. Yeah. But I want to hear you. And I feel like it, yeah. it sounds horrible. 
you know, but I'm not going to purport to understand. You don't understand my shit. I don't understand you. We can coexist not understanding and having empathy for each other. Yeah. I can only imagine what you're going through. And that's kind of a Jewish sentiment. It's like when somebody dies, you don't say condolence. You say, I can only imagine what mm. you're going through because you cannot know what it's like. Yeah. So, but this country is trying to do something that's impossible. It's like, if you educate, you'll understand. You will not, but yeah. you'll have empathy. Yeah. Mm. Or you'll have a greater understanding, but you won't fully know. I and that's fine. By who? I don't know. Do you feel like I understand you at all? Yeah. I hope so. Do you think I understand you at all? I do. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, really? I, do you think you don't? I think I do, but yeah. it's, it's hard to feel if people understand you. Yeah. What do you think about me? Adore you. Really? Aww. Yeah, I can tell you everything I think about you. Oh, Aww. tell me. Okay, I think you're really, really smart. Your stand-up is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Really good looking. Uh, a shame that you've been conditioned by the gay community to feel something. Yeah, I, I really do you. blame men. Yeah, for that. I, I really do and blame men too. The only thing worse. <laughs> yeah, the only thing worse than Tell men. About. <laughs> yeah. I really do blame. No, men. I really do. I think I think it's true. Like I, the only thing worse than men are gay men. That's what I, know. I think. One thousand percent. The <laughs> only worse than men are gay men. Yeah, put gay that. Men. That's a thing. Love that. Yeah, because gay men have just taken. What happened to us? They, they at like first they were on the fringe. I like <laughs> at first they were on the fringe, but then I they know. got too much we used to representation. Have, yes. We used this to have is some too edge. much education. You know what happened is Glee happened. Glee <laughs> and Queer Eye. Yeah, and Queer Eye did happen too. Uh, now that I think of it. Yeah, and you got oh, too much understanding. And then all of a sudden you didn't have to try very hard, did you? No, and now everybody gets you, and it's not that deep. And now is it? you kind of ride this wave of like. <laughs> Of like elder queers where it's like yeah. because you're gay, you get all this credit for being like smart in a way that's like, no, that what that person no, saying you're is you're a smart gay. And they, that's how g gays used to value smarts. But now it's dykes only. I know. I, so dykes are the new gays. And, and it's much subtler. I haven't been playing to my strengths enough being smart. I've undervalued no. myself. No, you're incredibly smart. Am I being so like bad right now? No, no you're really so smart, but I think you got that. you know you 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 know you leaned into like an anorexic running. Yes. yes, like you got really athletic with gay men, like which men love to count things and do stuff. Yes, and so I you were very. Things. I love. I love I, yeah. Do you think they love counting things and doing stuff? Yeah. So you were really doing that, but yes. it's like okay, you could do that. You but achieve now, that. I, but now I'm more muscular. I'm not Anna. Fine. Fine. I admit no, it. I'm I saying you can just you can now embrace life a little bit more. Yeah, I I have yeah, a certain. I, think I wish you just cared less about. I I know, but that's not new. I don't know what's wrong. There's nothing. absolutely nothing wrong. That's, that's the, the thing. I telling myself there's nothing wrong. There's I have a, this constant feeling that like something is wrong and I have to fix it. Well, why don't you look at your little boy self, little Pat? What do you think is wrong with him? Um, what would you tell him right now? I, it's funny we just talked about this in the last episode. How like, oh, no. how, like I'm like, this is a bit different. What she's saying. I know, I know. I don't know what I would tell him. I, I assume what I, would you tell him is wrong with him? Um, nothing was wrong with him. I don't think, but it's the world but that then was what? wrong. Yeah, but then what? I don't know. Because then crying. your seventy year old looking at you is not going to think anything's wrong with you. Yeah, yeah and he's going to feel bad. That you thought that. When I look at seven year old me and I thought, oh my God, I'm too hyper. I'm too this. I'm too this. I'd be like, bitch, you're good. I am. You are so cute just the way you are and you're perfect and it's gonna figure out. So you telling your six year old, you don't think anything's wrong with him. Your 70 year old self looking at you is going, what a gorgeous young I boy I was. You never can see that stupid. In the moment. I, I know. know. It's yeah, brutal. But you know what I do in exercise yeah. sometimes? Close your eyes. You close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. One day we're just going to open our eyes and you're going to be 70. I Imagine know. you just open like and this it Ugh. could be this and you'll remember that you were closing your eyes and that one day oh you God, said you're going to wake this. up your, and that one day you're going to wake up and you're 70 and you're that just closing crazy. your eyes. I feel like I'm going to be so happy when I'm 70. I don't know oh, what yeah. I will be when I'm 70. I'll feel 70. like a trans person who's arrived in my body. Yeah, you'll just be like Yeah. Because I feel like I'm trans of the age, like I'm old at heart. Yeah. So I'll probably you get to very, like, yeah, that's... yeah, I'll probably get like to 93, look in the mirror and the body will reflect the personality. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, You'll oh my God. Euphoria. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> I think like uh, dykes do get to age in a way that's really nice. Uh -huh. We and men. Do you think general, are you attracted to gentle lions? To who? Gentle lions. No, I'm not attracted to gentle lions. And that's okay. Is, is Neither am I. Do you have a type? Do you have a type? <laughs> um, I don't think I have a type. Um, do you think you'll get married? Yeah, she wants I to. I hope so. 
What kind of wedding do you want? Oh, I, I, uh, what I want and what's practical. I want like Ellen and Portia's wedding, 20 people at dinner. Heaven. Oh. With like the most deluxe table. Well, that sounds, that sounds flowers. pretty practical. I know no, we mean like I have family. nine siblings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. So you yeah. know like, what I want? Uh, you know, I would need like 50 people. Yeah. My wedding, I'm putting this into a manifest in this. New York City, New Year's Eve. Mm. Wow, New York that City. would be the best. New Year's Eve. Can I please come? You have to come. I want two or three hundred people. You would allow crashing. Let's say, here's the link. Here's the, let's say I'm not invited, but I'm in New York and I'm crashing. Yeah. If you, if I was, I can be sure. If I she was, was in my wedding and I saw you, I'd be like, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Like, you would be like, you would like, you would have been invited if if we were friends, if we were, but if not we were friendly. Friends. Yeah. If we were, yeah. if we were full friends in the next few years. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what was I going to say? And you, you, once you and Brian make up, just for just. You, just will wait. you tell him I love him and I'm 100%. sorry I lost my cool? He'll be so happy. Robbie, I can't just snap back. We're big on forgiveness. Okay. Do you have New Year's plans? What should I do for New Year's? We don't. I'm, I'm. Gabby and I will probably we might do something small with her friends I don't know but her birthday is January 2nd oh I see so, so what is that and my birthday was December 2nd Badge. oh I'm a Sagittarius and what is she Capricorn Cap. okay do you care about that no but is it fine um I'm kind of caring less and less as I age okay well, are my signs fine our signs I don't know. okay I only know about myself isn't that amazing? which one is it me yeah Lee I have an astrologer oh. that's gonna give me answers soon I think he's in France. Okay. He told my sponsor about the pandemic in, t in fall of 2019. How'd you get into, how'd you get into comedy? <laughs> I saw comedy in Montreal because the, the festival City. was there. Yeah. yeah. And that's when I really just heard of it, but I didn't know of it. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, oh, I, I, I <clears throat> got some shit to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it just was like such a, I didn't, I like had this unique experience where it's like, I didn't know of stand up until I did it. So it was like, as soon as I heard of it, we were in university. Like it was happening. Yeah. It was like a yeah. summer thing there. And I'm like, and somebody got tickets. They were always giving free tickets. And we went and then I was visiting my friends who, shout out to Shani and Winnow who went to Dalhousie. Actually, Winnow and I had a falling out, but just Shani. Um, <laughs> half shout out, half shout out. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, oh, you know, I heard of it. Like I was like, I was, I was having a dinner. This is one of the ways that I'm annoying. We were having a dinner. We were having Indian food, which I had recently discovered and I loved. So I was like, let's go for Indian. So we're going for Indian. Divine. We're loving it. We're loving it. We're loving it. That fucking <laughs> bread and the, yeah. and the sauce. Oh. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, I need water. Oh, I have my thing, my pouch. I, I want to address, address my pouch. So wait, what was I just saying? You're eating Indian food, comedy. <laughs> and I'm Montreal. on, I'm killing. I'm killing this dinner. I'm sharing stories with my mother. Everybody's dying. So I'm on without knowing how annoying it is to be on. Yeah. Now that I know I would do it less. Yes, yes, yes. But that's a way that I'm annoying in real life or used to be more. Oh, God. It's the and greatest And I was rush. like, I'm going to do stand-up comedy. And my friends, to their credit, again, like they were not judgmental about mm. this, but they would have been by all accounts. Like if I told, they were like, yeah, that that checks out. And I kind of, I started it. And I was like, I asked this place. It was like, what's the best place to not do well? And I did it at some loft where everybody was like older, like, I don't know, maybe like 30 or 28 drinking and all this stuff. And I was pretty sheltered. So anyway, I do it and I was going to give it six months, like if it, if nothing. And then I was doing pretty well for that city in six months. But um, yeah, it was the kind of thing I just discovered and I got to like watch it as I'm learning. Like I didn't have people always go like, what's your influences? What's this? I it's know. like. Uh, you know, my family, me, yeah. you know, I always <laughs> yeah, have yeah, just yeah. like, uh, you know, I because, don't have but then either. I did go back. I was watching Ellen for the first time. I was watching um, Eddie Murphy. I was like, somebody should do something with him. Like all these people were like, you know, when you never heard of a stand up, like, yeah, but they're massive stars. It's like, you know, Eddie Murphy from the Nutty Professor. You don't That's know him, me. Every time I Uber, they say, what's your job? I say, I do comedy. They tell me like. There are nine favorite comedians that are like huge. I've never heard of a single one. Yeah. I have a similar thing. I was like, do girls even do it? And then yeah. I was like, okay, wait, I can do this. When did you start? Well, you're at wait, Princeton. No, you remind me of something. Oh. Like your friend supporting you is so huge. I remember I was at Princeton and I told this oh. guy I'd hooked up with, I was going to join. I wanted to audition for the improv group. And he was like, really? I don't see you doing comedy. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'm not going to do it. And then it would take years before I even thought about doing stand up. That's so insane. Yeah. Yeah. I just like really. I was so scared. It was so male dominated. I was so intimidated. I didn't start doing stand up probably till I was like 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Not for nothing. Yeah. yeah. No, I started, I started also like 23, 24. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was like, I just heard of it. 
What's your end goal? Who do you want to be? What's the final form? What about now? Be. I want to be. Oh, well who, well, who are you now? Who am I now? You like the game system that you're playing. No, I, I don't. I, I don't like You the don't game. like the game. You like the level. But you but feel like you're like, in oh, the game. We're, you're like, we're alive in it. Yes, you yeah. have. Yes, like, you're okay, your, we're you're actually the doing the game now. We're yeah. not like. You're you jumping know. on the Goombas. Yeah, like I, I can. <laughs> What's yeah, that? I They're can the little ju- monsters in Mario that you jump on to kill. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> Mad yeah, respect to I Goombas. just, I still, I mean, the, <laughs> I, it's such a big, I think I'm still in the phase of where I like, where I'm like getting comfortable with my life. Like I'm just like trying not to panic as much, yeah. you know, like, it's okay, so we've been doing this for a while. We kind of know what we're doing. It's okay. Yeah. But, you know, my life gets bigger and then it's like, you know, it's like by the time you like if, you, if you're working a regular job, and you have a promotion. It's like, am I ready for this? You know, it's like it's always that a little bit. Um, and who do I want to be or what's my end goal with this is like I want to be the most me and I want to be the biggest possible. And I yeah. mean that in I love volume, <clears throat> size, all of it. I want it. This is something we talked about with your boyfriend. But if. I was watching the show Surviving Death. Have you seen it? Oh, on I thought you were going to say Survivor. Six episodes on Netflix. It's a clinical look for the first time. I like that. I like people who into, watch your death experiences. Yeah, well, into that's, that's, into I'm stuff like that. that. Into oh, death eh? and the chemical, like into it, like clinical neurosurgeons, like people, oh, I've like seen this. Just like ones like it talks about signs and all that kind of things too. I don't know about signs. Okay, keep going, keep going. But there was an episode about reincarnation, Obsessed. and there's all so there's all these episodes, and it's like crazy because. Historically, if you have like a lot of examples of the same thing, science would demand that we take note of it and mine the data and find patterns. Yeah. So like, why wouldn't we for anecdotes like a near death experience oh, or something like this? I love that stuff. So they do the scientific approach for all these things now. And But the big takeaway from all these six episodes is like, you know, you should really know it you, as quick as you can find the value of life, the better. So love, relationships. You know, that sort of thing, because the material world is fleeting and and. um, Yeah. And so so what's really important is like your love or connection, stuff like that. And I, my takeaway was like, the only thing I know is the material world's leaving. I know if I can see my grandfather, my Zadie after this somewhere. Yeah. Wonderful. Then let me have a Porsche now. <laughs> let me yeah. have like if I can't have things, right. I like things, yes. and I like to touch this things. This is your one time I to like, have things. So this is my one time to have things. So you're saying material stuff being fleeting is a reason to, <laughs> to grab, grab it, grab, to on. grab it, now. enjoy it. Get so that's it why I want like the nicest house you could think of. Yeah, I want the gorgeous old cars. I love things a tremendous amount, but I don't like a lot of things. Yeah, I want one stunning house. Mm. Yeah, one or oh, two yeah. gorgeous sometimes homes. I have, sometimes I desire to have homes in different places. Yeah, I'd have a Pied de Terre in New York. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, what a nice. blessing. Because I used to, when I was an auditor, I graduated in accounting and I did oh my God. finance. Anna Fabrig and I have a very similar past. I know she was in finance too. So oh my God, that's mutual wild. Friend, name drop. Shout <laughs> to Anna. That is cookies. wild to think of you and Anna auditing my company. Yeah. Like, no, but literally. So... I saw my little cousin this weekend and she's graduated college as an actuary and I was begging her to tell me when I'm going to die, but she wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> die? Actuaries tell you when you're going to die. Well, they do like statistics, math. What's an like actuary? Risk. They do like risk assessments and stuff. They're oracles who tell you when you're going to drop die. Is that what Ben Stiller is in a long came poly? Yeah. Literally. Okay. All right, sorry, but anyways. Uh, but no, back. maybe it was Schmidt or something. And we're back. Yeah. Um, no, but it was a long came Polly. You're totally right. Yes. He's like, Subway but he does it break. again in another movie, some weird movie. Yeah, he plays the same. Um, he, he plays the same. So faint. Yeah. I don't know. What was, what was it? The, the, you were talking about graduating as an auditor. Loving what you do. Oh, yeah. I would like hate work. Like the dread of I Sunday know. night. Oh, like, my God. I know. Getting up. It's like. There's actually nothing I know, we're so worse. Lucky. There's we're so still lucky. nothing so lucky. worse. It's like hard to remember. that feeling that you're all having if you're working for somebody else and you're giving your 50 hours a week to somebody else. And yeah. You're, it's like you are living the worst feeling. Yes. Um, and you're selling waking your up, life away. Yeah. Waking up and enjoying what I do. Like even my first writer's assistant job that I got. Oh, I could never be a writer's assistant. I couldn't do it. I loved it. Like, because I, I was leaving audit, like, what I was loved your first working job? on the show. What, what, what were you on? It was on Odd Squad. It was a kid's show. I ended up winning a daytime Emmy for oh, an episode. Yeah. Okay. Another deal. Um, shout out to Odd Squad. Like, literally, I just loved being around it. I was in the writer's room. I also have only ever worked for the best cis white men that ever were. Yeah. I have, like, no right. bad. Like, I was promoted at every turn. I yeah. was encouraged. They came to see my stand-up. Like, Hell yeah. just wonderful. Shout There's out. There's some good ones out there. Yeah, so... Yeah, the biggest luxury is is getting up and loving what I do. Like, and but that is also the hardest thing because it's like, can I keep this going? It's uh, that is like the biggest luxury of life. Yeah, because it's a hard now. We're we're working for ourselves. It's a lot of work. I yeah, know. I know. And I, it's, I, it's I'm not feeling consistent. galvanized right in this moment. Good. You're feeling what? I'm feeling galvanized right in this. What moment. does that mean? Galvanized means like excited, reinforced. Oh, good, like, invigorated. Uh, yeah, kind of. I always when I you're galvanized, I think of a frog. Like you're when you're electrocuting a frog, and it's like it's galvanized. Oh, that's so oh, interesting. Because cool. for me, galvanized actually makes me think of um, when I was in seventh grade uh -huh. for the play. Like there needed to be like an old timey maid mopping something. Sure. And so you know, I'm like when you're doing a play in school, and like the teachers are always like, and if anyone's mom has like this, bring it in because we need it as a prop. <laughs> they were like. You need, we need a galvanized bucket. Oh. Which is kind of like, and I went to my mom and I was like, do we have an oversized bucket? The old maid needs it to mop in the play. And she was like, and then she had one, but it was like, there was like a, it was like a seasonal one. There was like a snowman spray painted on it. And I was like, that isn't going to work. What does that mean? It's old I think it's bucket. like, it's like when it's like, it's like when it's like metal. Do you guys know? Yeah. It's like a metal. It's like the picture of bucket. <laughs> it's like a metal top. I picture that... a red bucket. No, it's Why? Like What's a, galvanized? Just that word. Electric. Oh, I thought it was like. I think I it means like wrong? like hammered in. Oh. We're oh, hacking the mainframe. No. She's hacking the mainframe. Um, I think about? galvanized means like if I feel galvanized, I'm I'm like reassured or something. So have I been galvanizing? You have been very galvanized. Yeah, you're an amazing. You've been amazing. I've been very energy. seen by you. Really? Yeah. I feel so lucky that you exist because. You're so unlike anyone else. I find myself really? thinking sometimes I wish I could ask Robbie Hoffman advice on something. You should. The only other person I think about that is Taylor Swift. Yeah. Well, I ask us both. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you could, I am so good with a random call. If you ever, I had yeah. that. Some, oh, I love that. Yeah. Blair Sochi once I haven't seen her me. in so long. Yeah. I, I need to watch her special. She's special. Oh, oh, she's incredible. Incredible. I love because her. Because she's the funniest, sweetest girl. Wait, she, she's yeah. in LA, right? But she was somebody who's like, I wanted to call you for advice. And she did. And we talked about it, and it was excellent. Yeah. It doesn't have to happen again. You can have it at any time, because I love giving advice, and I actually do think I give really good advice. We should have Blair what back advice, on. I know. But let's yeah. get on the list. What advice <laughs> would you give to someone, I don't know who, a woman or a person like me, <laughs> who might be feeling really down in their work situation? Why are you feeling down in your work situation? It's just been a really tough year. Has it? Yeah. I won't go into details on the pod, but it's just been yeah. like, you know when you're just in that, we're like, I'm getting a lot of no's, because it's not really... Yeah. Well, you, uh, yeah, I think my advice for that is just, it's going to look like this. Yeah. And to feel good again, you have to go through this. 
Otherwise, you're not ever going to appreciate the good work. It's like it's like somebody who's in a room for four years straight. Yeah. Okay. Needs to not be for a while to then appreciate yeah. getting work again. Yeah. And what about comparing yourself to others? How do you avoid that? That one's a really hard one to do. It's brutal. Um, comparing yourself to others. How do you not? Or how do I not let like, it, it's really, I, I have a sickness. It really gets to me. Yeah, it's but hard. I, I find myself kind of harping on the same thing. And I'm like, I know I don't, like, I don't want to care about this anymore. Like, I want to just yes. be happy eyes on my own paper, whatever. I think maybe we both have OCD. For sure. <laughs> of course we do. Look at it. <laughs> it's yeah. difficult, you know, you know. I think difficult. you should, yeah, I think, I think if you, you know, yeah, I think you could be, that we need a solution for social media. Yes, God. I think we really need to find the phone that isn't. I did at one point buy the light phone, yeah. which is a dumb I phone. I know. My friend, my, but it's my friend not, and former It doesn't roommate. work even oh, really? as a phone. We really? need an iPhone to, to have two toggles. I know. If you're if you're in Cupertino yeah. and you're working at Apple. Listen, listen, up, listen up. Listen up. <laughs> Cooper heads. Okay, okay, yeah. I didn't know where Apple headquarters was. Come on, it, I think clock? it's in Cupertino. <laughs> Cupertino, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Because everything says like What's made in Cor- Cupertino, California. Uh, oh, I when, you, when you go to like the time in the different oh, cities. Oh, I see what you mean. Cupertino. Okay. <laughs> okay, we need a toggle <laughs> that like day phone, night phone. Yeah. Like and just like. Which but which one is the, the bad one? <laughs> I'm just saying, which like, one's one that makes you mentally like, ill? You have an hour of social, social media, social phone, yeah. private phone. Yeah, yeah or just like. If they they should just ban it federally. Yeah, I think they should just. There's a federal ban. Everybody has to go back to getting the flip. Um, the razor. Oh, Bring it back T- to the razor. Yeah. Razor was T- the peak T- of T-9. civilization. Like the like, pink razor was late capitalism started when the razor ended and and like yeah everything else began. I yeah. got my iPhone like the day before I went to college. Can you imagine that girl? Oh the wow, you're that, so much younger than me. The power that girl had. You're so much younger than me. Thank you. Oh my when God. I was in college, it was <laughs> Razor, it was Brick. I was playing Snake on a Nokia in college. I'm on the college campus, I'm playing Snake on a Nokia. Imagine, picture it. Yeah, I'm on the quad playing Snake on a Nokia. No, I had a cell phone where I would buy calling cards like for it. Like I would feel yeah. it. Yeah. Like that's how, that it was like dire. Yeah, I can't imagine. Now I'm sure it's really cheap, but it was like communications in Canada were out. Outrageously expensive. Uh, what's your, what's your connection to Canada? Now? Yeah, because so I, I hate Air Canada. Montreal. Yeah, no, it's the worst. By the way, it is the it's the not fair. old planes. Yeah. It's not fair. You know who hates it? You I know, I'm worried experience. about something. Who? Nick Vial, who you're close with, probably. Oh, very close <laughs> with. No, he have hates you met it. Him? No, you know, I have he, it. He's the I've... one for me. I would. I would. Who's the one for you? Nick Vial. He he's really married agree. to a woman. He. I would risk it all for him. Really? I would marry him tomorrow. I think he's mean in a fun way. I think he's hot. I think he's smart. I would marry Nick Vile tomorrow. But see, this is why you're not going to get married, probably. Why? Because Nick isn't interested. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you mean by that? It's just, you're, you're, you, you, I don't know what it's connected to yet. Yeah. But let yourself just fall in love. I do let myself just fall in love. With any, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't quite matter enough. Or like, I don't value the right things in someone. Or I, I put someone on the pedestal so quickly and then it ruins it, doesn't it? I don't know. I think it's just like there's too much. And, and this is a problem with most people. But us, but I think the gay community started this. Gay, I want Robbie to. Um, <laughs> yeah. I want Robbie to have um, like a charm school for gay men. No, literally. That, that's, that's a reality show. We need show. to pitch literally. that reality literally. show. Literally. Robbie Hoffman teaches gay oh men. Oh, my God. Day. Robbie's yeah. charm school. Oh, I need it. there's something better. Mm-hmm. Always or something versus well, no, versus I, watering. I'm, see, see, I'm not even like always or something better. I'm like, that's it. That's what I want. Like, I will, I will do whatever it takes to keep that thing. And then if I lose it, I'm like, so upset. But you won't do whatever it takes to keep that person. I will, Nick Vile. I'll do whatever <laughs> it takes. No, but have you had somebody and done whatever and wanted them and done whatever it takes? Um, until they don't want me. Except one person. I've had only one boyfriend, really. Yeah. Listen, I don't know what the problem is, I know. but we're getting we're we're getting, we're getting close. I th- we're getting we're getting closer because I think a lot of the problem is you finding Miles... yourself and loving yourself. Yes, one thousand percent. So, so when we get there, then we can talk about who else or what else or yeah. what that looks like. But I think that you are on a self journey right now. Yeah, us the galvanized thing that we were talking yeah. about. That's more where the stuff is now. Yeah, I'm going on. Bucket core. I'm going on. Robbie, Robbie. Yeah, Hoffman and if you do have OCD or. 
obsessive compulsive thoughts where you ruminate about stuff like that. There's sertralines. There's really good medications that could help you feel really good. Yeah, right I'm I on the Prozac. You, gotta get, a, you should get back on it, I should I think. get back on. It's been really helpful. It's really helpful. Are you, so, on, are you on I meds? got off for a few months, and I, I've, yeah. I was like night and day when I got back on. I got to get back like on. A, and why did you get off? Just that classic, like, I don't want to take things. Yeah, that's how, where I am right now. Are you on birth control and stuff like that? Not right now. Because birth control is a, a, a Just real... Just trying. trying. No, I'm not. Oh, you're trying. Not, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, don't <laughs> oh, that right now. No, well, you, know, a, you oh. know, my health scare, I, I got off everything. Oh, yeah, what happened? You're, did I reach out? I was worried sick about you. Yeah, you wrote, such, you wrote a really... <laughs> You wrote a very nice note. <laughs> yeah. No, I was talking about I was crazy. Yeah. But I got off, at that point, I got off all my meds just to be like. What happened? Was it like a Haley Bieber thing? It like, was exactly a Haley Bieber's thing. Kidding. The exact same heart defect <laughs> that I didn't know I had. And they fixed it now? Fixed. And now she has a smoothie at everyone. I would. <sighs> no, I feel really connected to her. I need to meet her. Yeah. That's, it's yeah. so bizarre. I have to. It's one of those her. things that sounds really we freaky, saw her. but they can fix Gabby it. Gabby and I were, for, were out for dinner in Montauk. Okay. When we were doing Bethany Frank. Oh, Bethany you Frank have goes. to introduce Shout me to Bethany. Out. Yeah. I have, to say, I have to say this. Have I said this in the pod? You know, Bethany watched my special and sent me a note. You never Did told you me that. Kind of Bethany Bethany Frank Frank is, no, you told me she, she followed you. She never she told me. She messaged me. You She's never unreal. said that to me. She's unreal. I'm, there's How? no way. There's yeah, because no way. Look, she knew you would get mad. Look at this. No, no, no. There's no way I wouldn't tell you that. You did not tell me she sent you a note. That's not something I would I would forget. always tell you that. You told me she, you sent me a screen grab of her following. Oh, maybe I forgot to mention She follows me as well. Does she follow you, Pat? No, she doesn't know about me. It's only a matter of time. Look at this. What's interesting is I am in a place where it's like, I love my career. I love the things I've gotten to do, but I am like one rung lower than like most of the people I started with. So sometimes I'm like, what's that about? Who's on your rung? I don't agree with that. I don't know. Like, I feel like I was in New York with like, and I love all these people like Matt and Bowen and Joel and like, like I am a rung. I think we, I, I feel yeah. that way constantly, but it's yeah. it's this like you were saying. Yeah, it's ups and downs. It's like yeah, and it, and it's like you you can make your own rung too. Yeah, and, and um, I don't. I've never. I don't need to be like the most famous person in the. I have never needed that until this current moment where I'm like, wait, was I? Do not you feel like it's L.A. or would you feel like it's what? I think you know what it is. Yeah, I do need it. I think I would love to be tremendously here because I want to do a of, I want to do stadiums. I want to do arenas. Yeah. I want to feel bombastic. Yeah. yeah. I love volume. I love loud. But well, you're so I good at it. It's that. natural. So, um, and I think we'll have our own problems with it when yeah. we get there. But I guarantee, and this is that I'm going to be somewhere in the Pacific Palisades at some point, and yeah. you're going to be over, and we're going to be having just the most <gasps> amazing I, dinner, oh. and we're all going to be like, oh my God. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. That race. is yeah. so lovely. It'll be like that video of, um, Sia's dinner party where she sings a cappella. Oh, and I'll start. I'll start. Have you seen that video? No, I haven't. But maybe, maybe I ought to check it out. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, what we then, do like to tackle is. Um, do you feel hot? Do today? you feel hot today? I feel good today. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel hot good today. today. I think like being kind of like the room being cold and having to kind of snuggle in my bomber. Yeah. Yeah. When Robbie looked at. The monitor and told me I looked hot. That changed everything for me. So I'm good. I'm hot today. Yeah. Like I'm a good girl like that. Like I will, you know. I will help you out. Yeah. Well, like, I, knew you'd I know like, what girls, your... I have sisters like, yeah, you'd be no, like, she needs to know. Way. Does she like, look fat or not? Yeah. 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 Like, exactly. Let's be it's, honest it's, right it's now. It's a constant struggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you the only gay in your family? I am. Wow. Wow. And yeah. so are you close to your family now? Yeah. A lot of them. Uh, you know, they come I'm, to the taping? I'm close to like, no, no, no. I only invited to my friend Natalie Norman. Shout out to Natalie Norman in Toronto. But everybody had their families there. They must be so proud. Oh, uh, well, my mother just got it on video the other day. They couldn't. She's on living video. in Regina, Saskatchewan. Oh. They don't have Netflix there. What? But she said she's heard of Netflix. They have Crave. Uh. And I have a special on Crave. <laughs> and she watched that again, which is not the same thing. But thank you, Mom. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and, um, but, but my brother torrented it for her. I just oh. got the video. Oh, that is I, so I, sweet. Oh, I just got the photo. I'll send it to you. Uh, or I'll show it to you. Send it to you. Look at this. My mother watching me. She said I was very likable. Oh, my goodness. She said I just have oh, it. That is so sweet. She said I just have you it. Do just have you it. do she just have me, it. She called me. Thank you. She called me. You're she was born like, with you it. know, a little bit like Jackie Mason and this. And, and she said, you know what? I had a joy about me. She said, you're not like a mean bitch. That's what I was saying earlier. Even though I'm talking about yeah. such things. She said, you have a joy about you. You do have a joy about you. You love life. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be there. I, I'm, I'm, I want to be thrilled to be there. You are like I was thrilled to be there. You are. We're getting back, but You're it's okay. okay not to be thrilled to be yeah. there a little bit sometimes. Yeah, 
Um, I feel okay. Who do you have a crush of the week? Uh, uh, Gabby, Wendy. Gabby, of course. Aww. Of course, of course. Mine what is... makes this relationship different from ones you've had in the past? I'm just so in love. Yeah. Oh, what's it feel like? It's just like really scary and really exciting. What's she? What's she like? She's so fun. She actually hates. We got into a mini. She doesn't want me to say she's funny because she thinks it's like coming from a condescending place. Well, it's like, I'm a like she's actually funny. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, she's on yeah. the, so, yeah, she's on the writing yeah. side of things. But yeah. like, obviously, the whole world, like, or the whole ba- to me now, the whole world is Bachelor Nation. <clears throat> Shout out to Bachelor Nation, who's been true. I, I can't believe you're um, like it, it is. It's so, amazing overlap. It's incredible. Yeah. The mashup of the scent. Yeah, yeah, no, in Bachelor I, Nation. When I saw you in Bethany's home, I screamed and threw my phone. Yeah. Yeah, that was, the that was very random. Year. That was very random. I think you messaged me. Which I did also message very you. Kind. I know I shared it to my story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it is the uh, the randomest collab, but Rand- you know what? It makes sense. But she is in Bachelorette. She was the funniest. So it's there like it yeah. actually isn't that random. And I'm like, um, but yeah, I think a big difference is I've never been with funny. Yeah, and we're always funny. You but when do we with- get to laugh? You I gotta know. laugh. So now I'm like laughing, having fun, like just also the biggest difference. And I used to think it was so gay and not true when people like, oh, like I'm with my best friend or whatever, mm-hmm. like because I never was friends with my girlfriend. I think I had a, a girlfriend who I was with for five years. She she did bore me quite a bit. And um, and and sometimes she would say to me, I feel like when I, uh, stuff I say to you, you're not interested. Ooh. And I wasn't. And yeah. I really was, but this girl, I'm like, I love hanging out with her. Oh, yeah. So, sweet. so, and like being in, you know, like not all, like we're, we're hanging out, but we're cuddling. It's like you get to touch your best friend. It's like yeah. such a mind fuck. I'm yeah. Like, oh, oh. I do want to touch her and I get to. Yeah. Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> it's just great. Um, that is so great. Do you have a crush of the week? Crush of the week. Well, I want to address my water bottle, which is <laughs> yeah. really a huge part of my lifestyle. You know, I'm trying I'm trying not to buy a water bottle every time I go to the airport, but I have to get my three liters a day. Wow. So I looked this up and it's a flat water bottle and it looks awesome when I drink it. So for those lucky it's enough brutal. to go to our YouTube, you can now stream Seek Treatment on YouTube. Oh, yeah, well, you can. And you can watch this awesome sort of reenactment. Uh, let's see. <laughs> God, that's so erotic and fresh. It's that a, is it's the a worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> if it was at least like, you know what's good? Like for a hike, like the ones that are on a backpack and have a right. straw. Well, it reminds me. Yeah, but me, this is better because I can fold it up and put it in my but bag. But to me, it invokes a Why colonoscopy a bag. Be, that's yeah. all. <laughs> that's what it, to me it invokes. It's just like I'm such an overpacker that if I'm like, should I throw a water bottle in there? It's like, no, it's not happening. There's no yeah. room for a water bottle. This, there's room for. But you know what? You can get the carabiner and put it on a water bottle and just clip it. I'm yes. not dangling at the airport. Okay. Okay. I'm not Robbie. Okay. I'm not dangling. <laughs> well, you know, I've been pitching this and you and, and I'm very new to stealing. I'm oh. very new to anti-capitalism. <laughs> yes. But in the airport, I would forget, I was with a huge comedian. And he was like, oh, they're just begging you to take <gasps> water from the thing. Oh, you I, say, so you can I just can walk steal. out with the water. But you can, can because steal. they're stealing steal. from their employees. You're right. And I'm they're so stealing. You're, You're not the one hood. stealing. The corporations yes. are stealing. Okay. You steal I'm it, so but then you give it to the girl at the counter. I stole once in my life. Yeah. Oh, my God. I stole but see, so But you have to, yeah, you don't steal from a mom pop shop. No, you don't. You don't demo yeah. the bottle. No, but you think the Hudson <laughs> News with the three women they have working there? I know they're I paying know. them. No, they're stealing. Believe yeah. me. Hudson yeah. News. That's so triggering to hear that. Uh, it's like yeah. it puts you in such a bad mindset. I know. It's it's so the airports store. used to because we didn't travel growing up. So like when I no, first started traveling not. for work, it was like so glamorous to be in an airport and to see a Hudson News and to like mm-hmm. go in and look around and like I would get to the airport so early just to walk around and see people going on their trips and like yeah. And now it's like such hell to me. It's hell. And I used to see commercials where people were like, oh my God, traveling for the holidays, the worst. And I would be like, no, mm, like it's so magical. It. But now I'm like, those commercials were true. You know, yeah, I need to get in the lounge more. They're really weird about the lounge. Oh, if what's happening? Because I'm going to discontinue my Delta. I, love I heard Delta. they're cutting it off. I don't, I'm not a Delta, well, Delta girl. Even oh, I, what so for my flights, I'm a United girl. So what's United like? I hate United. Well, you, I, well I'm a United girl because I'm from Houston and they have a hub. <laughs> but you know the other thing about Robbie is that when you're you're the kind of person that your personality is so infectious that I start imitating you I on. love it it's like I feel that to us too but yeah. I feel like I'm really I'm like well you know let me tell you I'm yeah. really good <laughs> because I could live in a world like this that it's I wouldn't nice. be as annoying to people yeah. everybody would be annoying <laughs> nothing about you is annoying yeah thank you so um, I've only ever gotten to do it when I had an international flight I have never been able to, you have to pay otherwise yeah. oh you're kidding even when you have the card United's terrible then. I don't know. Yeah. I'm still learning about credit cards. I am. Yeah. Um, I'm new so to the community. I've been dealt to like 
since I was since day dot since day yeah. dot love, but since early days. But okay. I um haven't. But then like lately, they just have never been having flights. So I had to, I'm taking yeah, United they have to Denver. No, yeah, it's all connected. Like they don't have it's planes. All, yeah, they don't have enough planes. They don't like, have planes. But I will say it's like I paid for first to get from Baltimore to LA. I walk on. No. There's no sleep masks. There's no life flat. Like, was, it wasn't life flat. It wasn't life flat. I'm like to pay for that ticket and not lie down. And then I said I had to like you know when you say something that you're like you need to know that this is a criticism. I was like so what which planes have the life flat? I said and yeah. the and then the um oh I would die. Was, not her fault of course but she was like that's gonna make the seven one eights and the seven one tens. I was like I don't know that's the numbers of the planes. <laughs> Like, no, she means, like, not even time, like, the model of plane. Yes. I was like, oh, next time I'm booking, I'll have to look at the model of plane. <laughs> but um, my, I'll follow suit with Catherine doing a visual one to throw to her YouTube and say my bomber is my crush of the week. Oh, nice. Even though it is slightly oh, too long. Oh, good. No, it looks great. It's a great bomber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah except for the length of it. But I want to yeah. go shopping with you. I yes. want to be oh. part of this galvanizing you. Yes. Do you all know that this year, next year, I'm finally going to do laser hair removal? Oh, where? Really? Whole leg. Yeah, you I'm got so to. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. I, I gave it my vagina whole... for a while. You did the whole vagina? Back. Yeah, under my ass. It's excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I could go I, I want to get my asshole I've never done it. Does it hurt? Uh, sure, but it, not much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get my asshole laser, but prohibitive. I feel bad for the people yeah, doing it. Like, but it's not prohibitively oh, no. painful, yeah. so it's like, come on. <laughs> get your whole lasered. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, can you wax your ass? You probably can. It's fine. Um, wax your ass. Now, that's our that's our um, last bit of our last segment. This is, are you mad at me? Not at all. Oh, good. Are you mad at me? Not at all. But are you mad at me? No. I made a, made a comment about food. That I oh, no, I don't care. No, I just, I have seen online people. Yeah. There was a thread that someone made that they were, like, worried about me. You can't look at that. I know, but then they deleted it. Yeah, and he's also, you know what? It is the kind of thing that makes him think. Yes. If we're talking about okay. this. And, and when you're in the middle of thinking about a process, yeah. it's hard to be talking about it immediately. Yeah, yeah. I'm also doing well, like, with that stuff. I understand, but we could do, you know what? I can still feel the pressure that you put on yourself. Yes. I and do. it's unreal because you're a 10. Thanks. So it's like, yeah. and, but that's what keeps people. It's like when I look at Gabby and Gabby's like literally a 12 and she's like giving me, she has I'm, anything I'm going Gabby's wrong. I said, it's just, I said, she, Gabby's more than you. It makes sense. Right, right? You can't be but she, more Gabby, but, yeah. but more two, than she's two yeah. more than me. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's a, she's a, yeah. she's a beautiful yeah. And I could have said 14, beautiful. but I didn't want to hurt you. Hey, yeah. thank you. You can make her a 14. Just make me a 13 then. I would have left you at a 10. It's bad luck, it's bad luck to be a 13. Yeah. yeah. There is no 13. But it's like, I think, I think sometimes she must have a mental illness to be into somebody like me because no. she's obviously, so no. to me, it's like, oh, everybody would be into her, but it's like, it's her, this type of thinking that keeps her thinking that we're a match. No. no. That's yeah. not but do you get in your head about that? As no, a, as... I, I think it's just a miracle and amazing, but I'm yeah. like, thank God for her mental illnesses that keep her with me. <laughs> you know, like can, I'm also yeah. grateful. Like if she's not, you know, a hundred, like I'm like, wow. Yeah. I can overthink if I'm with someone who I feel like is conventionally more attractive than me. No, mm. I think there's like, I'm definitely, I do something for like five people on the planet. Yeah, so I, the, I my, don't think that's true. I think you do think for a lot more. People. Well, yeah. thank you. I've got to find my five. My, my, my thirty. My, and my, five. Six, my eight. Yeah. My top eight. I know. It's, funny, it's just hard. Sometimes when you talk about, it, I'm just like, I just want you to not have to think about all that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. I think that's what yeah. you're saying too. And you can, yeah. And Honestly, we will it get there. Have to be like, I know. But it's what doesn't keeps him humble and the like whole it. thing. Yeah. Because like, meanwhile, you think all these people are here when we're thinking you're here. I know. I do think I'm there. There's many people. But then Gabby, you know, <laughs> compared to some of the people we talked about, I there's know. many people who see this. They're here. Uh, yeah, but and those you're people here. are doing well. No, what is well? But you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing well. Look at you. Okay. Yeah. And you're doing well for a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to tell you something after this. Okay. And that's, that's our, our show. show. Thank you so much, Robbie Hoffman. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Hang hey, hey, You know what I always think You guys about? didn't say if you were mad at me. Oh, we're not. Oh, okay. I no, could never be. I thought okay. that was implied. If you're boring as fuck, seek treatment. If you're unlucky in love, seek treatment. If you just can't take a hit, we'll seek treatment. With Kat and Pat. That was a HeadGum Podcast.